I have to come down here today and risk my life to vote. That was the feeling among many Wisconsin voters this week after an election fiasco forced residents to either show up at the polls during a pandemic or risk not having their votes counted. Conservative-leaning courts sided with Republicans by overturning the Democratic governor's decree to postpone state elections and extend absentee mail-in balloting. In the end, that meant long lines that stretched for hours for those willing to risk exposure to the virus. For others, potentially thousands of Wisconsin residents, it meant not voting at all in critical races, the Democratic primary and a key state Supreme Court seat among them. The drama in Wisconsin, a key battleground state, foreshadows legal battles and political showdowns ahead of the November presidential election. Democratic leaders have called for expanding mail-in ballots amid fears that coronavirus will remain a factor, with Senator Cory Booker tweeting that what happened in Wisconsin was, quote, an appalling act of voter suppression. But that push for mail-in ballots is meeting strong resistance from Republicans nationwide, led by the White House. I think that mail-in voting is a terrible thing. President Trump this week spoke out strongly against it, even though he himself recently voted by absentee ballot. You voted by it's mail corrupt. in Florida's election last month, didn't you? Sure, I, I could vote by mail for the. How do you reconcile because I'm allowed that? to. Well, that's called out of state. You know why I voted? Because I happen to be in the White House. And I the president vote. then said, without evidence, that others were corrupting the system by claiming. You get thousands and thousands of people sitting in somebody's living room signing ballots all over the place. He also took a starkly political stance this week, tweeting that mail-in voting, quote, doesn't work out well for Republicans. Most Americans, however, including a majority of Republicans, want the government to require mail-in ballots for the November 3rd presidential election if the coronavirus is still a threat, a Reuters Ipsos poll found. In the wake of the Wisconsin chaos, the Democratic Association of Secretaries of State urged all 50 states to offer vote by mail to all voters, as well as in-person early voting for as many days as possible. But the Republican National Committee has echoed Trump's warning of fraud and vowed to continue resisting Democrats' efforts to expand vote by mail nationwide.